Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at groups in the address book. So address book is one of the applications that you never really have to touch in Mac OS X. You can just basically let it gather new email addresses as you use mail and then you'll be able to access those addresses by sending email and typing the first few letters of the person's name or email address. But it works a lot better if you go into address book and actually maintain it. Add phone numbers, uh, correct names, make sure you have preferred email addresses for everybody, things like that. You can also go ahead and add groups to make it really easy to send email to the same group of people time and time again. So here we are in address book. Now you should see three columns, group, name, and then the card of the selected name. If you don't, go to the view menu. Make sure you select card and columns. Now. If you want to add a new group, all you need to do is press the plus button at the very bottom of the group column and then you can create the new group. For instance, we'll call this one Family. Now group is kind of like a playlist in iTunes or an album in iPhoto. You can add names to it but it doesn't remove them from the list of all of your names. So for instance, we can go into All here and see all of our names and we can go and drag and drop family members into our family group. And after we've done that, we click on Family and we can see that those four addresses have been added into that group. They're still available in all, but they're also in the family group. Now, here we are in Mail. So suppose we want to send a message to our entire family. We click on New Message. Now, in the To field, instead of typing everybody's email address, we can go ahead and type Family. We'll actually get the completion right there and I'll hit Return and instantly it will fill in all four email addresses that are under family. Now I can go and fill in the subject and write the body and send it to all of my family members. Much easier than remembering to add all four email addresses every time you compose a new email. Back in address book we find we can also do it from here. If you control click or right click with the mighty mouse on family you can see that among the options are send email to family. When I click on that it will instantly go ahead open mail and start an email sent to all the members of that group. Now what happens if a person has more than one email address? Which email address will be used when sending to the group? Well, if you click on Family and you right click on it or control click on it, you will get the Edit Distribution List option. That will bring up this little window here. In there you can see that one of these members of your group has multiple email addresses. Simply click on the one that you want to use when sending to that group. So this is great because it would actually allow you to have the same person in multiple groups but using different email addresses. In other words, if your best friend is also somebody at work, you can make sure that your work group sends to his work email address but your buddies group sends to his home email address. Another thing I like is the fact that it adds the actual people to the email, not just the name of the group. So you can modify the names in that email uh, after you add the group. So for instance if you've got 12 family members but you want to send only 11 of them an email because it's about a surprise party for the 12th you could add the entire family group then remove that one name. You can also then add more email addresses uh, to that particular email. You can even add multiple groups and it will keep adding the email addresses to those groups. So you can send it to your buddies and to your family. Here's another trick. When you're viewing all and you've got a name selected if you hold down the option key you can see that it will highlight the groups that that person belongs to in yellow. So if they're part of say the family group and the work group they would be highlighted in yellow in both groups. Another cool thing you can do is you can create smart groups. So under File you can choose New Smart Group and this is kind of like a Spotlight Smart Folder or a Smart Playlist in iTunes. You can go ahead and create a smart group for everybody where certain criteria is met. So for instance if everybody has the same URL for the website for your company you can put them in a company one. If they've got um, the same phone number but with an extension you can put them in a company one as well. Same last name, put them in family, etc. The great thing about smart groups of course is they'll automatically update. So for instance if everybody at work has an email address that has your company name and you create a smart group to reflect that every time you add somebody new to your address book with that domain name they'll automatically be added to that smart group. So that's a quick look at all the different little cool tricks you can do with the address book groups. Hope you liked it. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.